Hi everyone. Today let's discuss about the poem My Last Duchess as a dramatic monologue written by Victorian poet Robert Browning in 1842. He was born on 7 May 1812 and died on 12 December 1889. This poem is loosely based on historical event involving Alfonso, the Duke of Ferrara, who lived in 16th century. In this poem we will be knowing about the character of Alfonso II and what happened to his wife. Normally king's wives are called as queen. Similarly, wife of duke are called as duchess. The horrible incident happened in Ferrara as Alfonso's wife had died due to tuberculosis. But almost immediately after her death there were rumors that she had been poisoned in the order of her husband the murder vision inspired the english poet robert browning to create a dramatic monologue in verse the speaker of this poem is the duke of ferrara duke alfonso who ruled ferrara italy in the late half of 16th century in this poem he is talking about his first wife Lucrezia de Medici who died under the suspicious circumstance shortly after marrying the duke soon after the death of his first wife he decided to remarry the duke is looking to marry the countess daughter the daughter of another powerful family count appointed a representative to visit his palace he shows the visitor through his palace He stopped before a portrait of the last duchess. It is set in the private art gallery in the palace of Duke of Ferrara. The Duke of Ferrara talks to his guest. He draws his attention towards the painting of the famous duchess who is now dead. The painting hangs on the wall of his private art gallery. The artist Fra Pendeluf worked hard to make it a piece of wonder and now it is in front of them. It seems that it's not the painting but the Dutch him herself standing alive in front of them. The duke invites the listener to sit down and ask him to look at the painting and examine its art of wonder closely. as the duke reads their face and knows what they actually want he himself explain the art of wonder to them the duke tells the listener that he told him the name of its artist purposefully before he asked himself the duke then explain the painting of his duchess he tells the listener that the smile and the blush on her face is not because of his presence he guessed the reason behind her smile it's because maybe the presence of his uh, artist who would have prized her beauty maybe he told her that her shawl is covered too much of his beautiful waist maybe to admire her beauty by saying that he was unable to recreate the beauty He tells about the nature of his wife. He says everything is equal to duchess. For example, she became happy by looking at the sunset in the west. The real problem is that she had no special appreciation for his gift that duke gave her. He gave her a 900 years old prestigious name of his family by marrying her but she treated his gift equally to everything else he expected she should change but not by saying he had a fear that she may avoid him or disagree to change herself she may change if he would have said to him but he never ever dared to discuss about with her Duke admits it the listener that his wife smiled whenever he crossed her but no one ever crossed her without receiving same smile from her side 
her nice behavior with everyone grows day by day so he gave commands to kill her and as a result all of her smile stopped after the end of the story of his duchess the duke invites the man to get up and follow him down step the guest finally reveals the identity of the silent listener he is the servant of the court whose daughter he is going to marry soon the duke tells the listener that he knows his master is generous he do not worry about the matter of dowry he knows that the court will not reject whatever he demands however as he mentioned in the beginning the beautiful daughter of the court is more important for him then they go down there the servant saw another masterpiece that is kept in his heart gallery that is the bronze statue of god neptune taming the sea horse that was a rare piece of art thank you hope you would have understood this poem my last digits